we're talking about <coughs> leadership. And leadership is funny because there's so many talks, there's so many presentations. I mean, there are just hours and years and years of things you can read about leadership. But whether you guys like it or not, if you're in this room, you're already a leader. Are you sick of not hitting the numbers you're supposed to hit, making the money you want to make? Door to Door is a professional collaboration to up level and bring honor and dignity to direct sales. All right, so competition is a huge part of any sales force. It's a huge part of life, not just not just in sales. And competition needs to be a necessary part of your of your team or your company because if you are not if you're not implementing competition, then you are not getting the best that your people have to offer. If you're not in a competitive environment, then you're not performing at your top level because sometimes we get content or we've worked hard enough or we feel satisfied. 100%. We totally feel satisfied. And so for our own sake, we aren't willing to keep optimizing our performance. We aren't willing to keep pushing it day in and day out and to go the extra mile because we're pretty satisfied with what we, with what we put out. Yeah, our bank account's fat and happy. Therefore, we just produce a minimal office, like minimal performance. And I promise you, if you can implement the right competitions into your culture, into your teams, into yourself, you're gonna get a much bigger pop because you're not fighting for a paycheck because you already know you're getting paychecks. Paycheck's a byproduct of being competitive and winning. When you go win in these competitions and you create a competitive atmosphere, your paychecks are gonna be bigger, your production's gonna be a lot more. And we're gonna dive in right now to show you kind of a, a practice that we did with a company where we help them craft their own competitions to implement into their company. All right, so we're here in the Hyatt and we're doing a uh, a game, we're doing a competition of who can create the best competition. So we broke them into groups. And now we're gonna, now I'm going to be Simon Cow, the judge. Oh wait, you guys didn't need the marker. Uh, so, basically, they're coming up with, who can come up with the best tournament to, to instill better culture? And we're gonna see who has the best, and the winner we're actually gonna go implement. I'll let you So the teams will be, uh... Guys, you got five minutes. You better start drawing. All right, we got Chop, chop. We're transposing. We're not drawing. No, draw space. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I can draw someone. Right in the middle. Okay. Okay. Actually, when I started this, I thought I could draw a lot better, to be honest with you guys. Full disclosure. Right there it is. Oh, see, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Yeah. No yeah. trips, because yeah. bringing everybody together is so fire. Hard. Don't look at it. It's so fire. <laughs> we... Don't look at it. It's yeah. so it's gonna blow you oh, it's it's gonna blow you Okay, we're... it's time. Group one is about to start presenting. Hi, so who wants to have some fun? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, come on now. Are you just saying you want to have some fun? Are you really want to have some fun? Yeah. I want to have some fun! All right, so what we are presenting today is uh, because a lot of us are gamblers. Uh, <laughs> the game we take a risk every day getting on the roof, but not only that, I saw you on a Cherokee. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, we are oh, presenting yeah. the Roofing Poker Run, where you take a 52, one 52 card deck, and for every 50 square that the branch sells, now we had to divide out the branch, but for every 50 square, whether it's metal, shingle, or tile, no commercial, all residential, that branch gets one card, but you also have to meet our profit margin. So you can't go out and sell a 50 square deal for $12,000 and say we got a card for the uh, for the branch. You still gotta meet the profit margin, but for every, every 50 square sold, that branch gets one card. We're gonna, it would take 30 days to play to get through the entire deck, or Whatever comes first. So if we go through a deck in two weeks, then, then the competition's over. We go through our cards per branch. We've got the branches split up. So it would be Charlotte and upstate South Carolina versus Raleigh and Wilmington and versus, I think it says Florida, they're kind of small. So, uh, <laughs> bloody genius right there. So. so I'm gonna test you. This is a culture assessment, ready? Because you guys yesterday talked about culture and things that you love, and I'm gonna, I wasn't here, so I'm gonna assess this. Number one, 
What behaviors are being recognized slash rewarded? And which ones are being punished? Okay, number two. Where and how are people actually spending their resources, time, money, and attention? Number three. What rules and expectations are followed, enforced, and ignored? Number four. Ready? Do people feel safe about talking about how they feel and supported and asking for help and things that they need? Number five. What and who is most likely to tip them? And who is one of the, is most likely to stay in the, er, so what and who is most likely to and tip them what I meant is like go off, like start start the fire, like be the instigator of the we call a mutiny. Um, so what or who is most likely to kind of create and then, the problem? And then who is most likely to stand behind them and back them up. Okay, number six. What stories ready? What stories are, are legend, and what values do they con convey? This one's an interesting one, ready? Check this out, this one's fun. What stories are legend, and what values do they convey? Number seven, what happens when somebody fails or makes a mistake? Okay, number nine, or eight. How is, eight, how is vulnerability, risk, emotional exposure perceived? How prevalent are shame and blame in the organization? What's the collective tolerance for discomfort? Culture is all perception. Is it not? Culture, culture is a perception, and culture is a feeling of an and, it's, and it's, it's all a feeling. Culture isn't something I can say, oh, you did $700,000 of culture this month. <laughs> right? If you like what you saw, there's plenty of more where that came from. Join the tribe and hit the button below. Subscribe today.